Hi, I'm Jason, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a free QR code that won't expire. These QR codes can be used to share your website, your business card, Google Forms, social media, or any type of file such as a PDF, video, and more. Let's go. First up, let's see how to do it on a desktop. So say you want to share a website and you have a Shopify store. So in front of me is a Shopify store called Coco Floss. All you have to do in Chrome is go over to the three dots in the upper right. Go down to cast, save and share, and then create QR code. And there you go, that's it. So you can either copy it or you can download it. This way you have it forever and you don't have to worry about losing it. This is going to be the same thing if we also want to do our social media accounts. So I'm now on Team Coco and say Conan O'Brien wants to share out his QR code on any videos he's made, whatever. Same things, go to the three dots, cast save and share, create QR code. And it's the same process if for every other one like TikTok as well. That's how to do it on the desktop, whether you're on Mac or PC. Now I'll show you how to do it on your phone. On your phone, it's even faster. On the iPhone, you just click the share button. That's the square of the arrow pointing up. And then you click create a QR code. There's your code. And then you just click share and you can share it wherever you want. You could even share it to your socials like Instagram. On Android, it's the same button area, but their shared button looks like this. Same process though. Next up is sharing your V card from your phone. The fastest and easiest way is just to create yourself as a contact in your phone. Then you go to share contact. We're gonna select either Google Drive or iCloud, depending on which one you use. And I'm gonna switch over to my desktop because it's easier to show you guys on that. But you could do the same thing as I'm about to show you on your phone. Okay, so now that we have our contact card on our Google Drive, this also works for iCloud and Dropbox. We're gonna make sure its settings are set so anybody can have access to it. So just go to the three dots, share, share again. I mean, anybody with the link, that's what we want. Now anybody with our link can download our contact card. So I'm gonna copy the link. Oh, I'm gonna copy it into my incognito mode. And there we go. So now we're just gonna repeat the same steps we did before. We go to the three dots, cast, save, and share, and create QR code. Now anybody that scans a QR code with the option to download our contact details. So I'm gonna click download, click save, and there it is. While we're in our Google Drive, we can share other kind of files like PDFs, videos, patio, whatever. It's the exact same process as sharing our VCF, vCard contact details file. All I have to do is upload it. Make sure you do the share settings. Anybody with the link can download it. And we just upload a PDF or whatever. So I'm gonna upload a PDF I made for a different video. So there's a PDF, go into the share, copy the link, go to new tab, there we go. Cast save share, Q create QR code, and there we are. I mentioned leads and the last segment. So this one, I'm bringing up Google Forms because it's an also a popular thing people wanna share via QR code, right? A Google form is essentially an intake form for leads. So once you have your form all done, you, you can just go to copy link right here. Second one in. You get the short URL or long one. It really doesn't matter. Just want to go to copy. Paste it in a new tab. And then same thing, three dots. Cast, save, and share. Create QR code. And there you go. There's a QR code that brings me straight to your form. Lastly, everything I've shown you so far has been a static QR code, meaning once you created a QR code, the website it goes to doesn't change. But what if you wanted to have it where 
the QR code can change. So say you originally were on Instagram and you moved over to TikTok. Well, if you created a dynamic QR code first instead of a static one, you can then change the website behind the scenes and you don't have to worry about rechanging all of your posts from the past, changing your website, your business, whatever, right? So if you ever think you're gonna change something in the future, start off with a dynamic QR code. And the easiest way to do that is use a service like Fitly. So we just paste in the URL we wanna have. So pretend this is your social media account or whatever. Click get your free link. Unfortunately, they make you create a username and a password so we can sign in. Okay, so now that we're signed in, it's showing me this is the short URL that they made from the long one that I gave them. And the cool thing is they have these three dots and you click view QR code. And we're just gonna create one. You could customize it, colors, etc. These are the paid options. Quick create your code. There we go. Now anytime somebody scans our QR code, it's gonna go to our website. However, we could change that in the future using our Bitly dashboard to change what website it goes to. Bitly needs to make money, so they do charge for some of these options. But that's also why I recommend this other option called 311 Direct because it's under your control if you own a website or have a domain provider. And it's most likely always going to be a free option. 311s are a little complicated for this video. They're easy to do. They're just a little bit more advanced. I want to get into for this video. If you want to learn how to do it, just go to Google and type in 311 Redirect and put in your hosting provider, whether that's Hoaxdainer, Bluehost, whatever. Or if you just have a domain provider like Namecheap, just put Namecheap in there as well. These services should have videos or articles on how to do this. It should only take about five minutes to do. Those were the ways to create QR codes and customize them. Easy to goes here that I've made. We'll go into related topics I think you'll like. And if this video has helped you, please like it so it'll get to the top of YouTube's results and it'll help others out. Thanks for watching. Best of luck.